Good morning, I'm Jenny Green, dear Mrs. Green, and first of all, I want to start this video by saying, sweet Andrea Allen, thank you for being my friend. I dreamed about you all night long. I know you think I'm obsessed with you, and everyone who knows Andrea knows why. Thank you, Jesus, for sending me such a beautiful friend into my life. So I want to share a little story with you this morning with y'all that, um, First of all, when I divulge this crazy information from my head, then some of y'all might just think I'm nuts, and you might be right, but I was telling my little son about this this morning, and he was so inspired that I'm just going to do a little video. So I've had some things in life that I've gone through that are so big, and I feel like they're going to make me break, and I feel so small, and... Sometimes you just don't know how to get through that stuff. So I'm not going to get personal tell you some of the stuff that I'm dealing with right now. But I'll go back and get personal to 2012 when I had just been diagnosed with valley fever, which is a fungal infection in your spine. And then I was diagnosed with malaria. And then right after that, I was in my yoga class and found this. <laughs> Went upside down and had... You know, my story, if anyone who's followed me, found out I had a giant tumor. When they finally took it out, it was like the size of a grapefruit. And I almost died. And it was just horrible, 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 horrible. And after my surgery and after getting C. diff, I was in bed for months and months and months. Got down to 97 pounds. I mean, it was really touch and go. Like, they had told me I was going to die, then I didn't die. And then I kind of kept on going. And But I wasn't out of bed. And... I just, I can't even walk myself from my bed and I get shit like, I'm gonna drink a water or anything, you know what I mean? And I felt so small. And I thought, I'll never conquer this. I'll never conquer this. And then my best friend hung herself. I wanted, I wanted to do the same. I didn't think I was going to cry in this video because, um, because I thought she was smart. She, she got out. I remember that Friday afternoon after her funeral, going home and just thinking, Brittany is happy today. And I'm going back to bed. And I'm miserable and my life is such a wreck. I'm never going to conquer this. But here's, here's my little secret I was sharing with my son this morning. I've always been a hiker. I've always loved to hike. And I would drive to my doctor up in the Scottsdale Air Park. I had infectious disease, doc disease doctors. And I had my um, gynecological surgeon. I had endocrinologists. I had all kinds of doctors that I was seeing all the time. And I would drive. My little emaciated self, I could barely drive sometimes. People actually drove me. I would drive past Camelback Mountain <laughs> day after day after day on my way to my doctor's appointments. And that peak, that mountain, you could just see that little height part off in the distance. And I would look up at it and I would think, I'll never hike you again. I'll never hike you again. I'm going to die. And I'll never going to hike you again. <laughs> and I was so sad. And then one day I was driving up there and I looked at that peak and something freaking cuss word snapped in me. And I thought, I am small. And he, that is the tallest mountain in Phoenix. Maybe the superstitions are taller. But my God, I'm not going to let that thing taunt me anymore. I'm going to hide that goddamn mountain. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not... I'm not going to, I'm not doing any of this anymore. I don't care how big that gosh darn mountain is. I'm going to hike it. And I started talking to the mountain every time I drive up to Scottsdale for my doctor's appointments. And I'd feel so shitty. I'd go up and I'd take blood and they'd do all these tests and I'd report on how my medicines were doing and stuff. I'd drive up there and I start talking to Camelback. I actually said, you know, beautiful mountain. I am small. And you were tall. But I promise you that one day soon the bottoms of my dusty shoes are going to be dancing on the top of your peak. 
And every day I'd drive past that mountain and I'd say that. And then I'd blow kisses at the mountain. And I was still supposed to be on bed rest except driving to my doctor. And months went by and nothing changed. And then one day I got out of bed and I drove myself to the gym. And I took the elevator upstairs. And I got on the recumbent bike for two minutes. And I did it. And I felt so fabulous. And so then I drove home. And I did it again and again and again. And my best friend Andrea came to town. And she was staying up in Scottsdale. And she said, let's go hike Camelback. And I was so tired. I didn't think I could do it. But she took me to the mountain. And I said, maybe I'll just be able to hike for 10 minutes. And maybe 15 minutes. And she kept me talking. And she was hugging. And tricked me into not even realizing how long we were hiking. And I don't know how much long later. Uh, my dusty hiking shoes stood on the top of Camelback Mountain and I looked out over the city and I could see the hospital where I almost died and I danced and I kissed and blew kisses and hugged Andrea and that day I learned a lesson and that lesson is that I am small but I am great. I am great enough to stand on the top of any goddamn mountain peak in the world. And I'm great enough to stomp on the top of every problem that comes my way. These Solomons have seen the top of every mountain from here to Timbuktu. And I will continue to hike and hike. So this has been Lomond Peak over here. Off in the distance in Ogden. I actually rented a condo just so that I could see it from my window. I wake up to this every single morning and when we first moved to Utah I couldn't get out of bed I was so sick couldn't even hardly walk upstairs to cook the kids breakfast or get anybody to school and I sat here looking at this mountain and looking at this mountain and telling you I'm small and you were tall and my dusty shoes are going to stand on your peak one day and do a little dance and two weeks ago my husband drove me up to the top and we hiked up to almost the peak and I did a little dance and blew kisses to my grandma, blew kisses to this guy, blew kisses to the mountain, and thanked God for letting me hike. So never give up. Never give up. I know you feel small. I know you feel sometimes like you just can't overcome the whatever, the marriage problems, the financial problems, the health problems, the mental problems, the whatever is going on in your life. But you can. You are small, but you are tall. Tell your mountains in your life that you're going to dance on their spines and then do it. And they will have their peak dust on the bottoms of your shoes. So anyway, thank you for watching my crazy little video. And go out and conquer the world. Peace, love, and health, y'all.